Distracted driving, it has become a deadly epidemic on our streets and highways. Cell phones are the main culprit, according to the National Safety Council. April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. Kellan's Don Jorgensen spoke to a Sioux Falls man who is making an emotional plea to drivers. Yeah, Kelly and Tom, Mark uh, Kirschman lost his wife last summer when they were hit on their motorcycle by a distracted driver. And now he is urging people to put down their phones and pay attention to the road. Well, you know, it was August 13th and it was just like any other day. But it didn't end like any other day. I would say it's the worst day of my life, absolutely. Absolutely. It, I'll, I'll never forget that. Mark Kirschman and his wife Carrie were hit on their motorcycle by a distracted driver at 85th and Hughes as they sat at a stoplight. He says his life changed in a blink of an eye. I just remember flying in the air. You know, I remember um, saying to myself, you know, this is it. This is, this is how it's going to end. Kirschman broke several bones and badly scraped up his face. But sadly, Carrie was pronounced dead at the scene. He remembers on the way to the hospital asking the EMT about Carrie. And I started asking her, now is this real? Is this, a, you know, is this a dream or is this a nightmare? Is this real? I kept screaming that. And then she finally kind of grabbed my face and she said, I'm sorry, sir, this is real. Th this whole thing is just absolutely senseless. Now he's asking people to listen to his story and hope something good can come from it. You know, there's a reason why I'm here, right? And if I can help someone, right, um, if someone can see this and watch this and, and have it resonate uh, with them that maybe the next time before sending that last text when you're driving or grabbing for that food or, you know, trying to find something in your car or changing the radio stations or whatever, uh, that they might think twice about it. Um, and maybe it'll save someone's life and maybe it'll save their own life as well. This Thursday would have been Mark and Carrie's 32nd wedding anniversary.